All right guys, today I'm gonna look at eggs inside of the belly of a snake. And you're probably wondering how I can do that and there's only one way that I know of without actually hurting the snake and that is using an ultrasound. As a matter of fact, I have an ultrasound here. I bought it quite a few years ago and it's still running strong. I don't use it very often. Usually in the middle of the ball python breeding season, uh, we're pretty much right in the middle. I've had three snakes lay eggs and I have 13 females that I paired up this year and there's a couple that I don't think they're gonna go they're really skinny they pretty much went off food at the beginning of the season there's a couple more that are kind of on the edge I'm not sure and then there's two I'm pretty sure two or three that I know for sure are gonna lay some eggs so what I want to do is I'm gonna set up this ultrasound we'll pull those females down and we'll take a look at how the eggs are developing in these female ball pythons all right so this is my ultrasound machine it's like a tiny little laptop it's actually smaller than a laptop Laptop. It's really tiny and it folds up and, and it actually goes into this case right here and it comes with a probe. The probe that it comes with, it actually comes with a round kind of a conical probe and you have to upgrade to get the linear probe, the one that's straight across. This is the probe you want for ball pythons. And I'm going to start with this girl. Look at how big this girl is. <laughs> she is a beast. I'm sure she has some massive eggs inside of there. So what I'm going to do is kind of set this up to where you can see both the ultrasound and the snake. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here um, as I ultrasound this ball python. So the amount of, the amount of uh, gel I put on here is pretty much, you put a, a pretty good bead up on here. That's about, that's about how much I use right there. And then when you're ultrasounding ball pythons, it's usually about a third of the way up from the tail. So like right in this section is where we're going to have eggs in here. And let's see, it's usually close, close to the spine. Let's see if we can see anything here. So I don't know if you can see that, that like right there is the divider between the eggs. And the problem with this is I kind of have a <clears throat> my gel is kind of going all over the place. <laughs> you can definitely see right, right there. Oh, that's kind of it's kind of hard to see, but this this is the divider between the eggs right here. So we can do the, the freeze button here. And then we can take a measurement. So you go down to general and you hit the set button is like enter and then you go up to distance. And our distance is like from here to here. So these are 27 millimeters. I would say this girl is definitely going to lay some eggs. And let me kind of give you a, a close up here of just the screen so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see if I can give you a close up. Actually, let me take the camera off the tripod. <laughs> It'll be a little bit easier, and you can get a close-up shot of the egg right there. That is what it looks like. All right, so when I'm done uh, doing the ultrasound, I just wipe the gel off. It's a water-soluble, water-based gel, and I, it just wipes right off. And then usually I follow up with a little water and just kind of rinse it off a little bit. All right, so between snakes, what I do is I just kind of wipe the the gel off and put a new bead of gel right on the probe and I go through a lot of this gel I go through an incredible amount so what I'm gonna do is ultrasound this lesser girl and she stopped eating right away so I'm not sure if she's actually gonna lay or not she <laughs> she's kind of fooling me uh, so let's see I think we hit the freeze button again to unfreeze it 
And then, let's see here. I'm thinking right about here. Let's see. Oh. Huh. That looks like a big egg. <laughs> she might actually lay. And you can see kind of the, the, the split between the eggs. I think this one's actually going to lay, which is pretty amazing. I didn't think this one was going to go. Wow. Okay. So that's pretty surprising. Let's see how big those are. This one's kind of hard to tell the the boundaries of the egg. This one's almost off the screen. This is like 37. Yeah, this is this this girl is definitely gonna lay. Ha, that's surprising. So here is a big pastel that she looks like she might lay next. She's really really big. Put another bead of gel on here. Hit the freeze button, and we'll see if I can. Take a look at this one. I always like to put my finger on the freeze button. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. And sometimes it gets to the point where the eggs are so big, all you can see is that little divider between the eggs. And it's completely, <laughs> this is probably, these eggs are probably, bigger than the whole screen and that's what we're seeing here and you can see you can definitely see right there there's a divider between the eggs they're just they're just totally off the screen you can't even measure those this girl is definitely gonna lay some eggs all right so i'm kind of playing around with my pied female and <laughs> i worked on this girl for about 10 minutes and i finally can see right here a tiny little tiny little follicle right there it's just that round, one little round. It's not even 10 millimeters. I'd say this girl's not going to lay, it's unfortunately. All right, so this is my normal female. This is the one I actually got for free on Craigslist. And I'm going to take a look at hers. I don't think she is going to lay. She does not even look like she's up to size. I doubt very much. Well, I don't know. She's maybe a little bit thicker in here. Let me take a look here. Whoa, look at that. She definitely has some eggs in there. So you can see right in here, these big round, there's a divider between the eggs. She's definitely going to lay. All right, awesome. So this is my pastel, I've been kind of playing around with her, and it looks like she has really tiny, like a little string of beads. This is like pre, uh, the pre-season, kind of what you see, the immature follicles, just tiny little beads. She's definitely not gonna lay, she definitely doesn't have the body condition either. Here's a really big lemon blast. She definitely looks like she's full of eggs. We're gonna take a look at this. And about a third up from the tail. We'll take a look, and yep, she has, you can tell right there, that's the dividing line between two big eggs right there. So she definitely has some big eggs in her. She's gonna lay. Here's a really big pinstripe female. She is definitely gonna lay too. She is really big. She looks like, I thought this one was gonna lay next. She might lay next, I can almost see the the line between the eggs <laughs> in her body she's she definitely has you can see two curves right there she's got some big eggs in there she's definitely gonna lay 
Here's another one. This is my 100% het caramel albino female, and she's a really big snake. She definitely, you can tell all along here, it looks like she's really full of eggs. You can almost see the, the space between the eggs. Look at that. That is, this is a big egg here and a big egg over here. She definitely has some eggs in there. She's probably going to be one of the next ones to lay, too. She's, she'll probably lay a lot of eggs. So here's another one. This is a really big lemon blast female. And this one is a big snake anyways. I wasn't really sure if she was building eggs because she is just really a massive snake. I think she is building eggs. So we'll take a look and see what we can see. Uh, it almost looks like it almost looks like those are little follicles. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh. That's that's an egg right there. Hmm. Small eggs. Small, small, small. Let me get a little more gel on here. This one does not look promising. Oh, uh, yeah. So those are maybe 15 millimeters. So this is the egg right here. And uh, I don't know, this is, I'd say this one's probably a toss up. She might not lay, probably not. Those look like little follicles, little tiny ones. This one probably won't go. Okay, so there you have it. The results are in. The ultrasound says three of my ball python females probably won't lay. I paired up 13 females. It looks like we'll have eggs from 10 of them, which is <laughs> that's a lot of snakes. Actually, I had three clutches hit the ground already. They're in the incubator. There were more than seven eggs. One was 11 egg clutch. It was pretty good. So I'm thinking we'll probably have between 70 and 80 ball python hatchlings this year, which is pretty awesome last year I had a hundred and this year I gave quite a few of my females the year off because they laid really late they're really looking good they're getting a little beefy so I'm gonna definitely pair up quite a few this fall and if my reticulated python lays some eggs I might get 30 to 40 uh, retic hatchlings from that pairing and you're talking about quite a few snakes here in the snake room actually if Lucy lays I'll have more snakes than I've ever had in my life I'll have a lot of snakes and they'll definitely be for sale at the show my display case with the smaller little display compartments it actually will hold 60 snakes and then I actually well as a matter of fact I actually have uh, if it comes down to it and I have more than that display will actually hold I can have two tables at the show and and have an extra I can have my bigger case I think my bigger display cases hold 24 so I could have 60 smaller snakes on one and then 24 on another table and do two tables at the show I'm not sure how many ball python hatchlings I'll end up with this year and how many holdbacks I'll end up after these next two shows but it'll be interesting to see so thanks for coming along thanks for watching and I will see you next time